Well, hey guys, and welcome to Sunday dinner here at the Good Life Home. I'm so glad you're here because today I'm making one of Tommy's favorites. It is such a simple and delicious pasta dish. And though our garden is not producing quite yet, you can use a lot of items from your garden for this meal, like spinach and like tomatoes, and maybe even some red peppers if you have any of those. It's a really simple, really delicious meal, and I'm excited to share it with you. Let's hop into the kitchen. So the onions and garlic are caramelizing, the water is boiling, and I have to show you guys who I have with me in the kitchen today. Uh, today I have a very special sous chef with me today. I cannot wait to introduce you guys. Without further ado, let me show you who is with me in the kitchen today. Is she not so precious? Calling her a she because compared to other monarchs that I've raised in the past, this one does seem smaller for where she's at. So I'm taking a bet that it's a girl, but I could be totally wrong. Will you guys help me name her? I kind of want to call her Juniper, but you know, I don't know. It could be a boy. So I'm trying to think of like more gender neutral names. What do you guys think? Should we go with Juniper and just like take the risk or shall we name her together? I kind of want to name her together. If you guys have a good, um, I guess, gender neutral name for it, her, it, <laughs> leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think we should name her, it, her, it. <laughs> So something really neat has started to happen here. Monarchs have decided to make our yard their home. So we've got Juniper, or whatever we decide to name her, inside. Now that's our indoor milkweed. Eventually I'll have a spot for it somewhere out here, but just for now I'm keeping it inside so I can kind of keep a good eye on it and keep it enclosed in a hamper. Yes, I am using a mesh laundry hamper to enclose the milkweed. Um, and hopefully she'll develop he or she, it will develop a chrysalis on the top of the inside of the hamper. And when that happens, I'll be sure to show you guys. Uh, in the meantime, I did just wanna show you what you can be looking for if you wanna start hatching your own monarchs. It's really simple. You really just need milkweed. And what you wanna look for is obviously if any of the leaves have been chewed down, but a really easy way to spot baby monarchs is looking for eggs. You can see if you look really closely in this shot, we have one, two, and three eggs. So 
yeah, once you see those eggs popping up on your milkweed, you know that you've advertised well to the local monarchs and that they are using your plants as their ecosystem and their breeding ground for more monarchs. Wow, the sun just set. I don't know if you can see, but like just the glow from the clouds on my face, it's like a quintessential California sunset. That cotton candy sky has just set in. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. It's been great to be with you. I hope you enjoyed this really simple pasta recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and upload it to the blog, heyitsagoodlife.com. Find it there if you guys want an ingredient list or like the step-by-step, play-by-play written out forms. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.